everyone and welcome back to another video today i wanted to use this that i got from magpie it's called baby and it is a white pigment powder um, which is meant to make it a lot easier to do um, ombre french and you use it over a velvet top coat or a matte top coat so we're going to do that today let's get into the video so we've got our tip here and I am just using a, this one's by um, Halo, it's called Classic, but you can use any base that you like or your, what you know, whatever your favourite um, French colour is. Um, I just wanted to use this one up because I don't use it that often. Um, and I thought it would go nice for this particular French set. Sometimes I use one that's a little bit more see-through, um, but I didn't need to do that really for this video. So I'm just using this one, but it, you know, it'll work with one that's, that's more see-through or not. So we're going in, we are going to do two coats on this nail. Um, it's quite a long nail because I wanted to be able to show you the full effect of um, the ombre. Um, so once we're happy, that's going in the lamp. Now I've got a little tray here, so I'm going to take out some of this powder. You don't need much because it's so, so pigmented and it goes a long way. You only need a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm just going to scoop a little bit out so that it doesn't go everywhere because, you know, I don't know if you've knocked a pigment over before, I have, and it makes a right bloody mess and it goes everywhere. It is a nightmare. So there it is. I've got a little fluffy brush here. It's just a, um, a makeup brush, like an eyeshadow type brush. It's fluffy. You can use any really, but it does need to be like a fluffy brush. Um, so I'm going to velvet matte top coat this. You do need to make sure, obviously, that you get all of the edges um, and make sure you're getting a full coverage on that nail. And you're going to need to pop that in the lamp for the full 60 seconds to make sure that it's proper matted and ready for the pigment. And that's it now that it's out. So I've got my pigment here and I'm literally going to dip my brush, just the tip into it. And I'll show you how much I've got on my brush. If you can see that. And I'm just gonna dab it on. I mean, you can see already how pigmented it is and look at, look at it, it's stunning straight away. Um, and it fades and blends so easily. Um, now I have tried another cheap uh, white pigment that I got in a, um, set of neon pigments and it didn't do it anywhere near as good as this one from magpie um, look at that blend and you can go back in and pick up more pigment and add more to the bottom to make it um, make, make more of a stronger white I don't know what the proper term is but you know what I mean and then as the you know rather than going back in and getting more pigment you you know there's not much left in your brush so then the further you take it up the brush then it will start to blend does that make sense like because you've not got as much on there anymore so it just kind of naturally fades this makes so this makes it super super easy i'm trying to take off as much as i can now and i'm going to try and blend this bit a little bit more and yeah look how gorgeous that is so at this point you could leave it as it is because it's quite nice but it depends how strong your customer wants the um the white as soon as you put this on though it's going to sort of like um, fade it slightly as you can see um, so you might want depending on what your client wants you might want to go in and do it again um, and go for a second coat with the pigment or you could leave it like that if they want a subtle one so that's now gone back in the lamp so I'm going to do it again for you so you could leave it like that or we're, we're going to go in again now um, and make it stronger and do exactly the same as before pushing the product into the nail um, taking off the excess and then blending at the top where the pink meets the white and popping some more down the bottom to make it stronger This is the first time I've done this with you and this is with you guys here. So I hadn't done this prior to the video. So this is my first time doing it and look how easy it is to apply. I mean, it's a game changer when you're talking about, you know, French ombre, in my opinion, game changer. So 
so um, I'm now taking my Don't Be Tacky top coat um, to try and keep in with the whole brand. Obviously my base colour wasn't um, Magpie but I didn't have that colour, uh, I didn't have the French colour in Magpie but the rest of it is so that's why I'm just, you know, top coating with Magpies as well. Don't be tacky. You do need to be careful when you put your brush back in the bottle that you've not got any pigment on the brush and contaminating the rest of your bottle when you pop it back in. If you have got any, just give it a wipe before you put it back in the bottle to pick up some more. So that's going to go in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. And there it is. That's the finished nail. Look at the blend on that. There's no lines. You can't see, a, you know, any lines from the from a brush. You can't see a transition. I hope you liked it, guys. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.